Right, we're just going to have a look at the automatic coupling uh, and uncoupling method that is used on uh, these shunting layouts. Um, if you look at the um, tension lock coupling there, you'll see it lifting up and down. And if the wagon out of the way, then uh, you can't see anything. Uh, there's a couple of sleepers missing which indicates that uh, there might be something there between the track. Similarly here, you can see what's happening. So the other side clicked just then, and then over here, the same sort of thing. So how's that happening? Well, if you look underneath, what you'll see is that there's a paper staple attached to the dropper uh, on the coupling. Now, what I've done with these wagons is refit them with Backman short couplings. I'll explain that uh, now. Backman couplings due to um, the short type, short mini type. Uh, what's the code there? 36-025 or those fitted to newer Backman wagons have to be used because the droppers are non-magnetic. So the bit with the hook, the bit with the dropper there is made out of uh, some brass type material. On all other manufacturers couplings as far as I know the dropper is either plastic or some ferrous metal which is magnetic. Uh, if you buy a new Backman uh, truck such as these weathered uh, fish fans from Frising Hall Model Railways insulated vans, not necessarily fish fans. I call them fish fans because uh, of the fact that I assume they're used for fish on mine. Then um, it's possible to very quickly convert them uh, by simply adding that paper clip underneath. So that's the silver part added there to the underside of the coupling. fairly straightforward conversion job when I get it in focus for that paper clip. Now, so if it's like that, the tools you need are a triangular needle file. You could use one of these which is a knife edge needle file. It's got it's a flat one with a knife edge on it. Because uh, we need to file a groove into the bottom of the drop dropper and I'll show you how we do that. Um, and a pair of pliers. Uh, I rarely use those, I usually use some larger uh, blunt nose pliers uh, which is easier to squeeze the staple up. These are useful, these needle nose pliers, uh, for forming the staple into the shape you want before attaching it. And you might want a dab of super glue to hold it on. Uh, here's an unconverted wagon. It happens to be Backman, but on these wagons, the um, couplings, the um, tension lock couplings, were made of plastic. And so what I've done is replace the plastic tension lock couplings on these two with the newer uh, short, because I like the wagons and I want to convert them. At the same time as changing the couplings, um, I usually have a look at the wheels, and if um, I'm not happy with the wheels, I'll change them for uh, a different wheel set uh, and check the back to back gauges. So there we have a couple of wagons with those couplings on which will work. Next, how to modify the dropper to take the paper, uh, the paper staple.